Greetings. Today I want to tell you about where the members of the royal family who joined the monarchy from the outside have worked. Let me tell you right away that this information was prepared by the Daily Mail. So, let's start with Kate Middleton. Work, waitress and sailor on a pleasure yacht. Kate first went to work, before studying at the University of St. Andrews, where she met her future husband Prince William. For four months she worked as a sailor for the Ocean Village Marina Pleasure Yacht Company in Southampton, reportedly for low pay. During her student days, Kate, like many other students, worked as a waitress in a bar. During the broadcast of the Christmas TV special A Royal Christmas with Barry, the princess spoke about her experience in the hospitality industry to the show's host Mary Barry. After graduating from university at the age of 24, she began working for fashion brand Jigsaw, becoming an accessory salesperson, but her duties were broader than just sales the future queen helped with the brand's novelty shoots, ran errands for higher-ranking colleagues, and brought tea and snacks. In 2007, she joined her parents' company, Party Pieces, where she designed web pages for the company's website and took photos. Then, after marrying Prince William in 2011, Kate became a working member of the royal family. Sarah Ferguson. The job? Cleaning toilets Sarah Ferguson and Prince Andrew have known each other since their youth. Sarah met her future husband when she was just 12 years old at Westminster Abbey, although their romance began much later, in 1985. In 2016, on the TV show Scavlin in Stockholm, Sarah Ferguson revealed who she had worked for before she married Prince Andrew in 1986 and became a member of the royal family. It turned out that she was a cleaner in a student dormitory. Then she worked part-time as a waitress in a strudel shop. Mike Tyndall. Job? Selling chips and chips. Mike Tyndall has always aspired to be a rugby star. He started playing the sport at the age of seven. Growing up in Otley, West Yorkshire, he attended Queen Elizabeth Grammar School in Wakefield, playing for Otley Rugby Club. He combined his studies with work. He worked in a fish and chip van and also helped a pal's father by installing ventilation at Asda's in York. In 2011, the by then prominent rugby player married Zara Phillips, granddaughter of Queen Elizabeth II, but continues to work as a coach, host his own podcast, do advertising contracts and appear on shows. Sophie, Duchess of Edinburgh. Jobs bartender, concierge, press attaché, PR agent. She has been repeatedly referred to as the secret weapon of the royal family and was considered one of the favorites of the late Queen Elizabeth II. Sophie is also considered one of the most trusted members of the royal family. In particular, she was entrusted to look after Meghan Markle and help her at first to fit into the royal family and learn its rules, but the American actress pompously refused her help. But before Sophie married Prince Edward in 1999, she changed quite a few jobs. Sophie Rees-Jones was born in Oxford, grew up in Kent, did not go to university, but did study to be a secretary at West Kent College in Tunbridge. After leaving school, she worked in a bar for a while before embarking on a career in public relations. For four years she worked for a number of different firms, including Capital Radio where she was press officer. It was while working in this role that she first met her future husband Edward. However, he was dating one of her friends at the time. For a while, Sophie worked as a concierge at a winter sports resort in Switzerland. During this time, she had an affair with an Australian-born ski instructor. However, when the relationship ended, she returned to the UK, moving to the capital. It was then that her work led her to meet Edward again when she worked on the Prince's Real Tennis Challenge event. In 1996, Sophie set up her own PR agency, RJH, with her business partner Murray Harkin. After marrying Prince Edward in 1999, she continued to work until 2001, but her professional career was brought to an end by scandal. Camilla. Job. The laziest woman in Britain. Now Queen Consort Camilla is one of the hardest working members of the royal family, but that wasn't always the case. In fact, she was once described as a woman who would rather stay at home than do any proper work. In the run-up to her wedding to the current King Charles III in 2005, many of Camilla's closest friends and family doubted that she was ready to keep up with the busy pace of royal work. They knew she enjoyed fiddling in the garden and watching TV in her robe. Although really fiddling in the garden is hard work. Thank you for watching.